Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ellie and I've just finished my degree at the University of Leeds studying mathematics and I'm going on to study a master's in mathematics at the University of Cambridge in September. So today is results day and I've had a little bit of a nightmare results with my classification but that will be in another video. Today I thought I would tell you every single grade that I've received in every single module at university. So I'm going to start with my first year, go up to second year and third year and just give you, you know, a big overview of, of every module I've done at university and every grade that I've received at university. I am actually really proud of myself. I've worked so hard for the past three years. I've had the best time, met the best friends and I'm very much excited for a new chapter at Cambridge. I think if I'd have stayed at Leeds it would have been, and I wouldn't necessarily say easy, but you get used to certain environments and I think putting yourself in a new situation, new challenges is definitely like the best for you to grow as a person. So I'm excited for Cambridge, but enough of me waffling. I'm gonna dive in and tell you every single grade that I received at university, including every single module that I did. Um, I, I've decided to do this just because I have like three different results videos. So I thought I'd compile it all together and just tell you literally everything that I've ever received at university. So I guess we will start with first year. So first year, let's have a look. 2018, 19, gosh, a lifetime ago. Okay, so I'm gonna read it out as in kind of the order that it comes. Um, I don't know how they order it. I don't know if it's like, al it's not alphabetical. I don't really know. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, so, okay. So mathematics one, I received 76. Mathematics two, I got 78. Number systems, I got 89. Sets, sequences and series, I got 76. I said that really Yorkshire, 70, 76. Introduction to Geometry, I got 91. Probability and Statistics 1, I got 89. Probability and Statistics 2, I got 85. And then my Physics module, which wasn't a Maths module, um, was Planets and the Search for Life, and I got 65 in that. So I guess I can give you a bit of a brief overview of which modules were hard and which were you know, easy, um, and then I'll move on to my second year results. So Maths 1 and 2 were very much just getting you started obviously these exams were when it wasn't covid so um actual sit down exams you know two three hour exams and yeah maths one and two were just getting you started uh, one was in semester one one was in semester two and it just gives you the kind of foundation that you need to then go on to further study across second and third year so they were i'd say more of an area that i, that I enjoyed i really enjoyed them especially math two a bit of, bit of physics in there so i enjoyed that um, but I was very pleased with, with those results. And then I guess onto number systems and set sequences and series. So number systems is very abstract, really love this module. It was just really nice to learn math in a completely different way and learn different areas of math. And I think that shows with the 89% that I got in that, in that exam, which I was really happy with. Set sequences and series, very hard abstract math. I literally went into the exam thinking, I'm not gonna get a first in this, it's gonna be so hard. Uh, and I was very pleased to get 76, you know, I was happy not only to get a first, but to get way into a first. And I was really, yeah, really, really pleased with that. Introduction to Geometry was a module, who, which I think I explained on one of my other videos. I literally hated it when I was doing it. And then as I started revising, I thought it was actually quite cool. And I was kind of getting into it a lot more, was enjoying it, understanding it a lot more and managed to get 91, which, yeah very very happy with that one that was like my first 90 at university and I never really expected to get it especially in maths you know you never really understand you never really know how maths a maths degree can go so I was very happy with that and then probability and statistics one and two um, respectively I got 89 and 85 so probability, probability and statistics modules were definitely my strong suit i would say in first year you know i really enjoyed stats uh, a level had really good uh, had a really good teacher for it so yeah i think that showed in my results and before fluid dynamics stats was probably the group of modules that i averaged like the best across and so i was yeah happy with that very happy with that and then the final exam was planets and the search for life got 65 and that was a physics module and i hadn't done physics since gcse so i was very pleased to get a 2-1 in that i must admit yeah it was a really really enjoyable module something completely different to maths essay base which i'm you know i must admit i haven't written essays in the in quite a while so yeah it was it was it was really good so for first year overall like to get collectively i averaged 80 percent each of these modules have different weightings so it's not a case of add them all up and divide by how many there are it's a case of you know times it by the credits divided by the whole credits kind of thing so i managed to average 80 percent in first year which i was really really happy with yeah beyond happy with and i guess i'll tell you second year now this was 
where I did a lot more modules so you know be prepared for a few more so real analysis I got 87 and I think what I'll do now is I'll explain a little bit more about the modules instead of just telling you at all I'll say what I got and then explain whether it was hard or easy so real analysis I got 87 really happy with that this was an exam that was coursework more coursework based because of covid covid kind of disrupted things um so I was happy with that real analysis was a carry on from set sequences and series so it's hard maths very very hard maths very abstract pure maths so yeah very very difficult so groups and vector spaces i got 74 and surprisingly i kind of went out of the exam thinking this is a, this was the best exam i did in semester one this is the one i'm going to do best in and it was the one i did worst in which was kind of weird like, i don't know whether i don't really know what happened but i was still happy with 74 and then vector calculus absolutely love this module i got 80 percent. i thought the exam was really hard but I managed to get 80 and I was over the moon with that. Then linear differential equations and transforms. This module got turned to a pass or fail exam because they, they showed us the bell curve for it. And this was when COVID like first hit and basically everybody did really, really well at like the bell curve. Instead of like normal bell curve for exams would be kind of like this where you've got majority of people in the middle and then you've got really intelligent people and people that fail the exam at this end. And the, the, the bell curve for linear was literally just like, like that. It was like everybody was up here everyone was up at the top end like 100 percent. so they were like there's no way we can even make that you know you can't even have a grade for that because everyone will just get like 90 100 on it so they just changed it to a pass exam um i'm not sure how that changes things with classification but i passed it so that was that was the best thing non-linear differential equations i got 94 in which i was really happy with enjoyed the module then i got 96 in fluid dynamics if you've watched my live video of this of the results of my second year i'll put a link in the description i literally was like oh my god like oh my god because fluid dynamics is so hard like it's it's known to be one of the harder modules at university you know at cambridge they say if you want to come study part three which is the masters i'm doing they say just to warn you this this area of part three is more advanced and more specialized so it's yeah very hard but um i was proud to get 96. obviously this was when it was more coursework based but it was still an exam it just we, we had longer than 48 hours to do it so yeah felt more like coursework than than an exam but either way i was still very happy and i managed to rank top of the class in that module i got the highest grade in fluid dynamic one so i was very very happy with that and then introduction to optimization i got 79 good module enjoyed that St statistical methods was a module i literally hated and i still managed to get 86 which i when i opened my results i was like this has to be wrong like it honestly had to be wrong i i literally stressed out in the exam it was the worst exam ever and yeah i think sometimes i need to have put a bit more faith in myself and tell myself things are actually all right um so yes yeah, so i've got 86 in statistical methods introduction to markov processes i got 97 and that's the highest grade i've ever received at university which i really enjoyed the kind of coursework the exam for it it was towards covid so obviously expected to have a higher grade really really good really good lecturer and yeah i enjoyed it very much so and then the final one computational maths love this module it was 20 percent exam the rest of it was coursework and i got 87 percent in it and one of the best modules i've done at university because it taught me how to code and i'm here today helping other people learn how to code it definitely sparked my interest in coding and yeah very very good now i will tell you about my third year so final year information so we'll go from the list again so combinatorial optimization i got 94. now this was an exam that i managed to do you had like 40 hours i did have a clash between two of them so it's essentially 24 hours and I managed to do this exam in two hours. It was 50% coursework. I managed to get, I think it was like 89% on the coursework. And then I did the exam 50%. Um, and I did it within two hours. And I was just so surprised because, you know, for the exams that are 48 hours, you don't really necessarily expect to do it in the three hours. It depends on how hard you revise. I didn't want to kind of burn myself out massively for exams when I didn't need to, when I had 48 hours to do them. So yeah, I was surprised that I managed to get it done in two hours and then get 94 percent 94 literally couldn't believe that especially when i hated the module um i enjoyed it towards the end but i struggled a lot with the module throughout throughout it um just because it's not the type of maths i like but it's a computer science module i forgot to mention um so yeah very very happy with that and then my project in mathematics which is my dissertation so this is worth the most credits throughout the year and i got 91 and i literally like i just I, I made a bet with Louise, who you may have seen on some of my other videos, not my sister, different Louise. Um, and she said, okay, I bet you get, um, you know, in the 90s for your dissertation. 
and I was like there's no way that's happening you know it's a dissertation I could understand if it was an, a math exam because math exam are more like easy to get 100% I know that sounds ridiculous but it's easier to get 100% in a math exam compared to an essay based subject just because it's very rare that you'd get 100% in an essay based subject so I thought well it's dissertation I've written it I'm not going to get within the 90s um, the only reason that she said it'd be in the 90s was because when I got my feedback back they said that they said it was a publication quality report and I, I like I kept reading it over and over because I was just so happy that they'd said that um, so the fact that I got 91 in that I've just it helped it, it's helped kind of reassure me if I want to go do a PhD because it means that I do have the literature and the kind of research skills that I need to do a PhD which yeah very happy with 91% in project in my dissertation extremely happy with that then I got 78 in linear and non-linear waves I was kind of expecting to do better in that for some reason but either way 78 I'm still you know incredibly happy with you know really really happy with and then my favourite module at university, Hydrodynamic Stability, I got 94 in and that's a Fluid Dynamics module, it's a follow on, so you do Fluid Dynamics 1, 2, which I'll get to in a minute, I'll explain my results for that, you do Fluid Dynamics 1, 2 and then there's Hydrodynamic Stability and oh, I just, I'll just love it, I, I just, honestly, I just love the module, love the lecturer for it, he was honestly one of the best lecturers, really enthusiastic about it and I think if I do a PhD I would love to you know return back to Leeds and be in his department because he's just really passionate I don't know just really nice to have a lecturer who's really passionate and really like yeah this is cool we can do this and just really well taught as well um I can imagine he'd be a really good supervisor so yeah 94 percent um very very happy with that and then analytic solutions of PDEs this was a module I hated because <laughs> it was very it was meant to be applied and it turned a bit pure I got 78 I was happy with that you know more than happy um, and then introduction to entropy this was my final exam and by this point I was just burnt out honestly just so burnt out but I got 75 which I was very 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 happy with uh, to say that I was burnt out uh, you know at the one point I was like I literally don't even know how this exam is going right now I just it I had like I had like my first four I think three exams within the space of like six days and then I had like two weeks until my last one and I know that you know you have a lot of time to prepare for it and things which is kind of ironic it's the one that I did worst in in that semester but by that point I was just like I just want to be done with exams now you know I knew that I I felt like I'd done enough to get the first that I need but very happy with 75 it was a very hard paper actually but happy with 75 yeah and then mathematical biology I got 78 on again a module that I had to take because there weren't there wasn't much option that leads a lot of can modules got cancelled so yeah, I ended up having to take this module, but I got 78, which I was really happy with. And then the final exam was Fluid Dynamics 2, and I got 90% in that. Very, very happy with that. It was a very hard exam, and it's just nice that, you know, I've I've managed to get uh, 90, I've managed to get 96, 90, and then 94 in my Fluid Dynamics modules. And that's what I'm going to specialise in at Cambridge. There's a Hydrodynamic Stability module at Cambridge, which is very similar to what I've learned. There's just a kind of a lot more added on the end but about half of what I've learned will be in, in that module at Cambridge. So that's kind of a nice reassuring start that, you know, I've done I've done that well in a in an exam at Leeds in fluid dynamics in something that I love. And yeah, I'm just very proud to say that I've achieved above ninety percent in in all of my fluid dynamics modules and those are the modules I've achieved the best in at university. So yeah, advice from, from that is do modules you enjoy because you'll do a lot better in them. <laughs> But I guess that's every single module I've received at university, every mark that I've received. I'm very proud to say that I achieved an 80% average in first year, 86% average in second year and an 85% average in third year. And overall, I think it equates to about 85, 86% for my degree. So very, very proud of myself. And if you don't understand how the grade system works in the UK, anything above 70 is a first. So yeah very 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 happy that you know I've managed to get a first in my degree anyway those are my results from the last three years of my degree very just strange to say that I've finished you know this is the last time I'll be looking at Minerva and, and looking at my grades at Leeds but I'm very excited for the next chapter very 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 excited I think it's just going to be something completely new something so challenging you know it'll put me out of my comfort zone and I'm just ready for it it's only nine months if it is terrible and really hard it's only nine months but equally I think 
it's going to be challenging but I feel like I'm rising up to the challenge. I'm very very happy. So those have been the results that I received at the University of Leeds across my three years doing maths at university. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did then please like, subscribe and comment and I will see you all in the next video.